Now, the real estate battle between Zaya and Heathen is actually underway, which Zaya has taken the lead, in which we saw Arto and Aizu have finished rebuilding Smile, in which they also have recruited a construction type human gear named Oyo. Oyo Kasta, and they actually gonna need his help for the contest. However, they actually have been called by the richest man named Gino Gino Ju Gino Ju Oshiru, and they actually came to him. And they actually say that he needed a house that he and his family can actually live in, in which they actually agree. So they actually decided to wait to see which house that he will like, which Oshiru actually wanted to enjoy with his family. In which we seen how they actually get to work on picking the house, but only within the budget. And we actually seen Tatsumi try to get under Oyo Katsta head, by which he actually realized that he's too strict to be controlled. So he actually tried to do it again, and then he transformed to the same robot monster from the previous episode. Then he using his splashing whale progress key and transformed to the splashing whale ra raider. Then Fua actually appeared. Then he actually transformed using his punching Kong mode. And then we actually seen the battle actually head, which Falcon actually has no match between two robot monsters, including the Raider. That's when Guy actually appeared, and he transformed to Thousander. Then he using the punching Kong powers, and then using the jacking break on the robot monster. As they finish rebuilding Oyo Kata, we actually seen him try to figure out what they're going to do next. In which he actually has brought his team, so they actually going to set aside and actually figure out how to build the house they actually picked, which in the woods. But then we actually saw Orto actually was thinking about what Guy actually say earlier in which we saw Aizu was actually hearing what he actually say by which he was actually thinking about his grandfather and actually trying to see and how failures like this never actually stop he keeps on trying and trying again till he succeed then we saw Oshiru actually told Tatsumi that the house that he actually picked was actually exciting, but it wasn't up for his taste. But he did actually enjoy the house that he actually liked. And then the result is that he actually chose Heathen and Smile because the house in the woods is actually was enjoyable and he actually enjoyed it which he and his family are actually spending time together in which heathen intelligence have won the second round which caused Tatsumi to be upset and that's when he transformed to the splashy whale riser just then we saw Fua actually saw the hooded figure actually appear and then he actually disappeared. So he actually found out who the, who's this hooded figure is. 
Meanwhile, we saw Aratel transform into his Shining Assault Hopper mode, and then Zero One actually trying to defeat Tatsumi when he's about to use his finishing attack, but dodge, then Zero One using his finishing attack, then defeating the Raider, which Tatsumi was as should have said, because he tried to create a house and then sell real estates based on his past, which we actually knew that he was actually trying to catch up next time, but Guy picked up the Splashing Oil Progress Key, and he actually is angry at round two, and Saya is lost, along with Yua, but he actually told him that next time he won't be in a generous mood because it is about time for round three. Now I'm really happy that Zaya in, in tell, sorry, Zaya lost round two, but he done run round two. But I'm really actually looking forward to what round three is gonna be. So we're actually gonna find out what's gonna take place on the next episode next weekend. So anyway, like this video, subscribe for more, and comment what you think about the episode. You guys can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr, and like my Facebook page. Until then, this is Anime Guy joining here saying sign out. Laters!